Hey everyone, Chef Lee here in the American Range Kitchen and today we are grilling. I'm gonna make some yellowfin tuna on the grill with some roasted cauliflower and the quickest tomato sauce you've ever seen in your life. Let's get started. All right, we have our grill heated up, the oven's ready. We're gonna start with our cauliflower. So we have just regular cauliflower, nice kind of medium-sized florets. Simple seasoning here is salt. Got some garlic powder. Nice grapeseed oil. And our secret seasoning throughout the recipe here, both on the cauliflower and in the tuna, is what I love almost more than anything, which is zata. And it's kind of a Middle Eastern spice combination here. Zata is kind of like the love child of oregano and thyme. It's grounded fine once it's dried and it's mixed with sumac and some sesame seed. And that goes into the cauliflower. So we have all of our seasonings into the cauliflower. I'm gonna give it a quick toss here. It's gonna go into the pan. So our sheet pan is lined with some parchment paper. Oven is set at 400 and we're going in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the quickest tomato sauce you've ever seen in your life. Ready? Don't blink. Here we go. Tomatoes, rough chop, one clove of garlic, goes in, lemon juice, and we're ready for the blender. We're gonna start on a slow speed. You gradually raise the speed. One with our olive oil, salt, and black pepper. And we're done. Tomato sauce is ready. We'll set that to the side and keep grilling. And that is honestly super flavorful. It's fresh because it's never been cooked. And it'll play so nicely with the grilled tuna and the roasted cauliflower, which would add some richness. So you have the freshness here, you have the richness from the cauliflower, and then that nice char grill from the tuna. Speaking of tuna, let's get that on the grill. What we have here is our tuna that's been marinating, again, with the zata, the same spice combination that we put on the cauliflower, and then some grapeseed oil and a little bit of lemon zest. That's been marinating for about an hour now. You don't wanna go too much with the marinade. An hour is right about the right time, and we're gonna go straight on the grill. This recipe is actually one of those recipes where you want massive, massive heat. The meat of the tuna is very lean, so it might dry out really quick if you're not very careful. So the high heat allows us to cook super fast, still get the flavor from the char without drying out the meat. And without further ado, let's get on it. So our tuna is pre-marinated, it's oiled, it's nice, and it's ready for the grill. We can go straight on. Let's see it happen. That didn't take too long. Okay, those are grilling and we're literally looking at two, three minutes on each side and you're done. It's super quick, it's super fast. And again, the meat is very lean so you don't wanna overcook it. That's why the high heat is key here. So we crank your grill up. While we're here, what we can do is create those nice diamond marks. So you're seeing the grill going like this. All you wanna do is do a 45 degree little turn. So pick it up, 45 degrees, pick it up. You're gonna get those nice cross marks. And we're about at maybe 90 seconds, so like 30 more seconds up to a minute on this side and we're gonna go on the other side. Okay, so right before you're ready to plate, give the sauce just another little whiz to get it re-emulsified and it's ready for the plate. So here we go, right in the middle center of the plate with our tomato sauce. Quickest tomato sauce you've ever seen, but it's super flavorful, absolutely delicious. Right on top of that, we're going in with the cauliflower. It's a little hot. Cauliflower goes in. Nice browning, nice color. Again, really nice flavor. And we're gonna go in with our steak right in the center. We can use a little bit of green, right? So let's get a hit of green. I have some cilantro here. Just gonna give it a rough chop. That can go on and around. And just a little hit of oil. 
right away you're looking at amazing color, very vibrant, very bright. And it's, I mean, if you ask me, it's the ultimate summer dish. Really nice on the grill. I mean, the super high heat that we're getting on the grill here is absolutely key to not dry out the meat, which is super lean. So let's stop talking and do some eating. Get a little bit of the sauce, and some of the cilantro. Mmm. It's so flavorful. The meat is nice and tender. The cauliflower really complements the brightness of the sauce with that roasted kind of heavier flavor. It's such a fantastic dish and you've seen it. It was so easy. This, this sauce is remarkable because it literally takes a minute to make and it's so packed with flavor. I am excited for you guys to try this. Leave some comments below and I will see you next time here in the American Range Kitchen.